Yes, Marcus. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, All is well. Welcome to Testimonial Tuesdays. Uh, yes, it's Testimonial Tuesday. So, not unless you come in tomorrow, as I'll be ending the show tomorrow. Okay, go ahead. I allow you. Okay, bro, Nico Galfa. Lakini ni mejari uku kufatilia YouTube kila kitu chanyo na unge maze ni kumu kwa void between rice na bread ni kumu kwa void. So, what should I do? At least kulibuzi yu yu wakali yaki. What is this hard thing in Gulf that everybody keeps on complaining that there's no food in the Gulf? Nini ni ingumu? But I'm told there are people in the Gulf who get this food. There are people who supply this food from this kind, from from Uganda, from here in Kenya. There are people who actually supply these foods. I can link you up. Uh, I can link you up with people there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hey man, that, that can be a serious mess. Why did you just do basi one meal a day? Yes, simply do one meal a day in the evening. Throughout the day, you're just hydrating with salt and water. Because now there are things you have control over, the others you don't have control over. Yeah, because... But you see, you cannot eat to go and exercise. You cannot, you will not. Energy, calories in, calories out is a lie. You can exercise the whole day, but you'll not be able to clear out what you've eaten in in one hour. It's difficult, bro. Given that again, exercise plays about fifteen percent of healthcare goals, so diet plays about eighty to eighty-five percent. Which means, if you follow the exercise direction, you will totally fail. Okay, now bro, nimeno sileo. Hmm. Yes. But at stage four, that you need surgical intervention, bro. Yeah, that you need a surgical intervention. Gani. Hmm. I don't know how you and I can have this conversation off uh, uh, this platform, but find a way. Find a way. You can even text me uh, on the DM. I'll find it, and we can have this conversation. It's very hard for us to tell that conversation openly here. Okay, that's Yeah. I don't know, guys who are in the Gulf. Please tell me what is happening. Are there people? Are there no people who can actually supply these foods? Because other countries we've actually tried to figure out, and there are people who are actually supplying these foods, and they are getting these natural foods. We don't want our people from the Gulf of outside the country to suffer. We really want to stretch our hands to you guys, but we cannot do that if if you guys are not being honest with us. So, are there people who can actually supply these foods? If you're in the Gulf and you know somebody who can actually supply food to these people, you can simply put it in the comment section so that somebody can actually read and see and actually access these foods. Yeah? And you, of course, we know financial limitation and constraints are there. However, try as much as possible. Because remember, health is your first wealth. We can want to sugarcoat this, but we cannot because health will always be your first wealth. If you don't pay the farmer, you will pay the farmer. Trust me. You can trust me with that. If you don't pay the farmer, Ah, you'll pay the farmer. Choose the farmer that you want to pay. <laughs> so there are things, and then somebody's busy telling me, you know what, uh, these things that you're mentioning, why are they harmful now and they were not harmful then? My friend, in high school, we used to starve. It was just a starvation period. In high school, if you had 100 shillings, my friend, hey, oh, look what's onko. Those days, ah, we used to starve. We used to run for food 
porridge in the morning. You go for morning preps, but you're busy holding a cup under the under the locker. You're just waiting for that bell to ring, and you run to just go and take porridge. To on a dab, you take two times so that you can actually feel a little bit better. It was starvation in high school. Now you can afford it, and now it becomes a serious problem because now you think, oh, because I can afford it, I want to eat what I can eat, and then you suffer. I used to hear other schools telling us, oh, you know what, we used to, we, uh, in our school, we eat sausages. I'm like, huh? Sausage? <laughs> yeah, which school eats sausages? But now, school feeding programs, sausages are there, rice is there, they're eating a lot of junk food. At a school, they eat chicken, they eat fish. For us to eat fish, you had to lie that you have allergies, very severe allergies. And you have to come with a letter from the doctor that you have protein, I don't know uh, what allergies, Gideri allergy. Have you ever heard of Gideri allergy? Good, so let's talk to who? Ann Jiri. Ann, how are you? I'm good, doctor. Uh, you, you, all is well. If you can raise your voice, we will appreciate for people who are on YouTube. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can. Thank you. I see you really paved my way to healthiness. Yeah. I was just wishing that I met you before. Amazing, amazing. I was here struggling with a situation that I, I was uh, my own doctor, but he, I didn't know. Yeah. So my problem is uh, I'm diabetic type 2. No, you're not. And the problems that uh, we have with the people that we see, the ones that we call our doctors, that when you go there when your blood sugar is high mm -hmm. instead of do what you're supposed to do they increase the dose of the medicine that you're getting you know yeah if you have metaphor 500 they throw you to eight to one thousand yes or others they, they 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 even introduce the insulin and all that mm -hmm. and yet the yeah so me, I had a problem of uh, high dose Yet, I'm not being told what I'm doing wrong. Mm -hmm. Actually, I don't know what I'm doing wrong because I'm taking all my medication every day the way I'm supposed to take them. Mm -hmm. But my habit was just a mess. Because yeah. according to me, I thought eating fruits was very healthy. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, I'm in a place where fruits are just in abundance. Mm -hmm. If I want the apples, I would eat them. If I want oranges, if I want pineapples, if I want anything, I would eat as long as I have money. Yeah. So when I became like, I would say better that I could afford all these fruits, then I decided this is the time to eat all what I've been missing. And I used to eat <laughs> fruits like crazy. I didn't know that was a problem. Yeah. I would take all the apple and eat it with Kai and Opa. <laughs> yes. So, Yes. Mm hmm Yeah. So I would eat all pineapple with cayenne pepper. Okay. Because I would eat the tree around where I am. Yes. With cayenne pepper. Wow. I'm telling you, I mess myself so much. Tea with a lot of milk, you mm. take uh, uh, 3%, yeah. 1%. Yeah. one. Chai fupi. Yes. And then I, I eat from Kenya, I get ginger, I get uh, steam masala, and I cook very good tea. Yes. And then I take like carbs. Oh my goodness. I became <laughs> sick. I became really sick. Yeah. And I wondered what was wrong. Constipation, back pain, yeah. stomach. I, wondered. I actually wanted to go to the hospital, but I was fearing to go and get me fed. Mm -hmm. So that, when I was just in that situation, Amazing. Yeah. Then what you say, you talked about fruits. Then I said, oh my God. And I don't feel myself. Yeah. So what, what is the doctor saying? First, I switched you off. I do not believe what you're saying. <laughs> you say, fruits are my problems. Yeah. So they come in. Then you talked about the cooking oil. Mm -hmm. Then I say, then you talked about uh, maybe eating things like, okay. I knew about uh, the, the, the carbohydrates like Kugali, mm -hmm. so I used to eat something called Yaparina. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So I used to eat that of garlic and then with greens. So I was wondering now, uh, what does it mean by I eat a lot of meat? I never used to eat a lot of meat because I fear that fatty meat is going to mess me. I never used to eat the eggs because I, I, I was told that is cholesterol according to what we know. And then I, I switched to you on again and then I listened, <laughs> I listened, it said about to listen. Yeah. So I listened to Yeah. Because I knew where I felt the pain I was feeling. I was even wondering whether I had girl stones mm -hmm. because it was creating pain, very bad pain. It will attack me and then go back and then attack again very seriously. So I thought now when I go to the hospital here, I'll have to be admitted and many other stuff are going to happen and didn't want. Yeah. So now let me give this doctor a chance and see okay, try what to do. Mm -hmm. So I brought my, my, my morning tea, the way I love my morning tea. Everybody at home, if they hear me now, they knew how I used to disturb them with the tea leaves and I, would, I knew the shops that sell tea leaves here. Yeah. So, my tea, I started taking ginger and lemon in the morning. Mm -hmm. And then I had turmeric and a little pepper. That was my breakfast for yeah. tea. Yeah. And again, I was, it was not a month that I take tea very early in the morning. Mm -hmm. Then, for my breakfast, I decided now it is eggs. I do eggs, tomato, and uh, the only fruit you say that you should eat was avocado or short. Mm -hmm. So, I've been mean, using them in the, in the store. I just used to put them. Mine was apples, uh, oranges, uh, berries, anything that is uh, sugar. Mm -hmm. So, it's uh, tomatoes. Uh, eggs, avocados, and onions, I just make them all of them together. I'm still doing that today. Yeah. So, and I think my breakfast. Then we also talked about fasting. Mm -hmm. Then I started, well, breakfast will be that. Then I take my meal at around uh, uh, two, three, then from there I will not eat again until morning. Mm -hmm. And morning breakfast will be around nine or eight hours. Yes, yes. I take my like that with one meal. Mm -hmm. Yes. I fry my food with meat. That oil that is there, that is I never use any oil on my food. Mm -hmm. I use that oil. If it's meat, it is very fatty. If it is uh, this other meat, it is very fatty. So mm -hmm. the fat that is that meat is what I use. So the only thing I, I, I use for frying maybe the, the eggs is I would use coconut oil or ghee, but not so much. Yeah. Sometimes they boil the eggs. Amazing. So I work continuously and, and now um, not taking my tea was a big problem because I was like an addict. So my head is too out and I'm working, I have to work many hours, I have to work and I'm working, I'm taking care of people. So it was such a, a, a whatever, it was such a problem. But as I said now, I was almost about to be admitted and I'm not work. So I better choose to go to the hospital or continue with this diet and see where it is going to take me. I'm telling you, I even said I'll get you and tell you this. It was such a great change. I was to see my daughter after three months. Yeah. And the last time I was there, she almost told me that I don't know what to do to you now because you have all the, the high doses and it seems like you, you, your, your A1C is not changing at all. Your weight is still there. Your A1C is at, it was at nine. It was at Ooh. ten. We go to insulin now. <laughs> I was already there. I was already there. Wow. It was already doing something. Then when I went now after three months, okay, and I had the blood draw and uh, and uh, the weight and uh, the blood pressure and all that. Mm -hmm. She came back laughing. What have you done? Then I asked her what? Tell me what you have done. I told her about what? I can't believe what I'm saying. Your A1C is 6.6. 6. 6. Amazing. All the way from you at 6. I asked her what? Then I told her, okay, look here. What I've done is that I used to eat a lot of fruits and I never knew that the fruits were bad. Mm 
Yeah. <laughs> Ego. food there's no food there Yes. And when I check my, my, my insulin, I find like I find it is okay. Yeah. Here we measure it goes to you can get one hundred, when you have the lowest it is seventy, ninety, one hundred like that. But me, you know I need to go up to six hundred, five hundred. Wow. So it dropped and I'm speaking the truth, doctor. Yeah. And it dropped to one twenty five, ninety eight early in the morning. 97, so I decided all this medicine I'm putting it aside. Mm -hmm. So when I went to the doctor, I'm still taking the medicine. So here I lied. I know that, okay, what I have blocked is the insulin. Mm -hmm. And another one, now, I can't remember his name because it was so new and very strong. And that one, okay, then she told me, okay, I'll, I'll come to them, you'll not be having them. But all those others, the metformin, the, the Jordan, mm -hmm. the Vieta, right? All those people continue with them. Yeah. Then when you come and say, well, we use the dose. And I said, okay, that is what you're telling me. But me, I'm not taking any. All what I'm doing is just eating what I'm supposed to eat and even not eating too much. Yeah. Anyway, even my weight dropped. I was at pounds. Yeah, when I measure with pounds, I was uh, 170, 179. Yeah. But when I went there, 160, 162. Amazing. Amazing. So, and I was just wow. I wish I wish everybody would get a chance like I got because I was going back in hospital anyway. Yeah. And you know when you go to hospital and you're told now you're going to be over operated, you know you cannot start saying I won't because you're not the doctor, he's the doctor talking. Mm -hmm. And if you refuse the you will not be comfortable because you have refused the operation. Yeah. So before we get to who would choose to be operated who would choose to be operated other than just to stop eating those are things that we just eat because we enjoy them, but nothing else. Imagine. They are bringing us home. Uh, so I thank you so much, Doc. And I just wish that uh, many of us are going to laugh because it is not expensive. And again, we are not eating too much. Yeah. If you don't afford it, even if we stay for, 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 for a week without eating, we are not going to die as long as we are taking the water with a little salt. Yes. Amazing story, amazing. Thank you so much, Anne. This is just amazing. Where are you talking to us from? I'm from Seattle, USA. Amazing. I'm, hey, USA is in the building. Seattle. Welcome on board. Thank you so much, Anne, for trusting us and for fighting a good fight, even though where you are, products are more than foods. But you found a reason to actually change your life and now you're changing life for people who are around you. We bless you and may God keep you going. You deserve it. Amazing. Amazing testimony there. Listen to that, guys. 
Eh? That is USA. In the building, talking. As you are here, you can access healthy foods. You are constantly arguing. Hmm? You are constantly arguing. I saw a comment, somebody saying that they used to fast. 48 hour fast was very consistent. And now they are struggling to even push <laughs> a 12 hour fast. It is very possible. It is possible. You can do it. But I know that's where most people are. Most people struggle because they have the ego that makes them think they can do it. They know what to do. Yeah? They know what to do. You know what? I've been doing this. I know what to do. And then boom. <laughs> you, you struggle. You're trying to push a 48 hour fast, which you've just been pushing consistently. You get to the eighth hour, you're like, ah, one last money Is it a must I do this? Ah, I mean, nobody's watching. I mean, it's my health. And anyway, I still fast the next one. And then you turn on the app, the fasting app. Yeah? And then you tell us you're fasting. After eight hours, you've broken the fast, you've eaten, and you thought you will eat so much food because you fasted. Then you realize, oh, the God does not even allow you to eat more. Already, you've already uh, broken the fast. Now you're regretting, you're judging yourself for doing that. I'm telling you this for free. If you get to a point where you, you, you've realized you're messing up, don't judge yourself for it. Don't. Because the more you resist, the more it persists. Do not judge yourself, do not resist it. Accept and simply be aware that I'm doing the wrong thing. Just be aware. Once you become aware, the battle is taken off you. It becomes easier for you to actually uh, do another one.